Hi, I'm Crystal. As a child, I was always nurturing and naturally loved dolls. When I became an adult and discovered reborn dolls, my little family started to grow. There's Haley, Landon, Avery, Chloe, Shiloh, Grace, Jamie, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, and Savannah. Along with collecting, I have been a reborn artist since 2008. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it's a lot of fun. Hey guys, so I'm here to quickly show you my little tiny workspace um, where I do my reborning. And um, basically when I first started reborning, I used to work in the kitchen um, at the island here. Um, but that quickly became a problem because then there was nowhere to eat because I had reboarding stuff like all over this table. So over the years as I learned more about organization and things like that, I figured out a way to have my own little workspace. And it started actually with my grandmother finding this little tiny um, folding table in um, her apartment building that someone was getting, getting rid of. And it's a perfect size because it fits right in this little corner. And it's great because it folds up so you can store it away, which is what I do during the month of December because our Christmas tree go goes in this corner. Um, but, you know, like, I, I always was thinking, oh, no, I shouldn't put it there because we always use this for the Christmas tree. But then I realized, well, the Christmas tree is only up for, like, a short period of time, and then there's all this space. So... This worked and I bought a folding chair so that stores away easily as well. And we already had some TV tables so when I got my little oven here to bake my dolls, I decided to put the TV table beside so that I could put my oven there to bake. Um, so basically I bought two OTT lights so that I have good lighting because being in a basement there's really no natural light except for Sometimes you get some good light coming from the door during the day, but whatever. And then I just recently got those um, daylight light bulbs. So they're like, before I blind, not without blinding you, but you know, they're up there. Um, so generally, if I am doing a portrait baby, I will print out the pictures and put them on this wall as reference. And I also always put my color wheel here. Um, and I always put this really old, these two old tea towels down just to protect the workspace. Um, I have these little plastic drying racks. Um, so we got the two babies going there, but, um, usually if I'm working on two dolls, I'll put an extra TV table here just to give me a little extra room. But, um, these guys are just, just about done. So I've packed that away. Um, I have this brush holder, which is covered with, um, this is supposed to be like, a like something that you can cover bowls with. Um, and I thought that it would work great to cover my little paintbrush stand to keep, keep the dust off of the brushes. So that's my little paintbrush stand. Um, then I think it was just not this year, but the year before that we got these new bookshelves from Ikea and they're perfect. Um, so this whole bookshelf has all of my stuff and it's not just all reborning. There's some other crafts in there, but basically the top, the top shelf here has my heat gun, which I don't really use much now that I have this, but, um, I have this little container where I keep eyes and eyelashes, magnets, um, bows, pacifier clips, sealers, poster putty, all that stuff. I've got my rooting tools here. I've got more poster putty there. E6000 glue. And then I have this little container full of pacifiers. Um, and then I have these cute little containers to hold the different kinds of mohair. Um, toothpicks. My paint thinner. Um, this is like a scented baby powder scented oil. Um, there's my paint thinner squirty bottle thing and I've got glues and varnishes and I've got my little paint 
I use these sometimes for paint. Um, more toothpicks and Q-tips. Uh, then I have this other little thing, which, oh, this fell off. I had a cover on it. But this has like my Prisma pencils, um, scissors, tweezers, just little things like that. Um, and some, it, it also has like a few paint brushes that were too small to fit in a paintbrush holder. Then I bought these spice racks to hold my paints. So up here I have like all the varnishes and stuff. And then I have all the different colored paints and you can fit like two rows. And so I have them kind of like sorted by color. Um, and then these are just regular acrylic paints. These I use for my paper crafts and things like that. Um, these are my other paint palettes and my other paint wheel. Um, X-Acto knife kit. I have my fan brushes in there because they're just so honking huge that you can't put them anywhere else. Um, and then I have lots of cable ties under there. Here I have a binder with like reborning tutorials and tips and stuff. And then I have the Reborn World magazines. I have this binder that has other crafts in it. I have some paper pads for scrapbooking. And then I have lots of like scrapbooking and card making books and um, things of that nature. Um, I got a little very best Canadian baby name book. Um, this is my Cricut like instruction manual thing. I have a little journal that I keep quotes in for when I'm making cards or scrapbooking. And then I have some notebooks where I take notes from like tutorials. I've got my um, ATG gun for scrapbooking and card making. This has like, um, I guess it's like the vinyl gloves or and the nylon stockings for waiting. And then I have um, some poly palettes there. I have cosmetic rounds. I have these baskets that I use like when I'm sealing the limbs I let them leave them up in there propped up in there to dry. I have this little pillow for rooting plus this blanket. Um, and then this is like I've got markers and crayons. This holds like photos that I'm scrapbooking. These are basically all of my scrapbooking things like punches and scissors and things like that ribbons, um, my paper trimmer, um, basically all like scrapbooking, card making stuff. And same as down here. This is um, my cuddle bug in its pretty cover. This is my create a sticker machine that's in its matching cover. Um, all of my embossing folders and Cricut cartridges. And then these are, this is the body for the baby I'm about to finish. This is my Cricut Expression machine in that bag. And I think this is the body. Yeah, this body's for Morgan's baby. Oh, and I also have a matching scrap bag, like a garbage bag thing. Um, then I also have on the other bookshelf at the bottom, just like um, this is my scrap on the go box. So these are all things that like I use pretty much every time I scrapbook or card make. And so this bin goes with me when I go to crops. It's like the easiest way to just grab what I need. And some paper trimmers, photos, um, glues, and things like that. And so in the office, I have this here that holds a lot of beads for the baby bracelets I make. This here is a drying rack that Alex helped me make when I was doing my Ariana kit. So I saved it because if I ever do another toddler, I will have it. Fabric softener for the baby bottles. Um, these are uh, scrapbooking things all in here. Inks and um, stamps and things like that. I also have, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but at the back I have bins that hold like scrapbooking stuff. Um, and then I have these here. Oh, these are, 
I forgot to show this in my other video, but these are all lupus day awareness clothing for the babies. And then this is Build-A-Bear clothing. And then these bins, I think these are like um, reborning and scrapbooking stuff. Um, then over here, I forgot to show you guys this too in the other video. I have, um, well, this is an old label. I got to read fix that but this is basically all diapers and then this is packaging for when I, anything that I make and sell and then this is shipping material and then this drawer holds stuff that I'm gonna send to my sponsor kids so that's pretty cool um, and this is my handy dandy sticker organizer I love this so much I just bought this bar at Ikea, bought some binder rings, and then I bought these poly envelopes that have like snap closures, and I punched holes in them and put the binder rings through, and so I have them all sorted like bling, letters, Christmas, birthday, you know, all that stuff. Um, and then like I said, I have these drawers that hold the kits that I have to reborn. So that's pretty much it. I also have um, two under storage totes that have, um, or two or three actually, three under the bed tote things. And that has a lot of like scrapbooking stuff in it as well and other kinds of craft supplies. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little workspace and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. I got a request um for a video of where i keep all my dolls and all my dolls things like their clothes and all that stuff so i thought i would just do a really quick video to show you guys um so if you don't know already we live in a very small two-bedroom apartment so there's really not a ton of space um and so basically i've had to